participants of the meeting of the news agency's World Council and a ceremony to mark the 95th anniversary of Azerbaijan State Information Agency, Azer Tachab met Azerbaijani President, Assistant for Public and Political Affairs, Ali Hassanov. In his opening remarks, Director General of Azer Taj Azam thanked all the guests who are in Baku today to attend the meeting of the news agency's World Council and celebrations of the 95th anniversary of the founding of Azer Taj. He know that at the present time, when the system of international relations is witnessing serious transformations, information has started to play a broader global role. Mr. Aslanov said the world is changing, and not always in the direction we want, because time has its own challenges and we have to address them. From this point of view, a number of questions emerge that concern us, particularly representatives of classical, traditional media. We, the newsmakers, we, the newsmakers carry the main burden of finding answers to these questions amid the wave of revolutionary changes forced by the development of advanced technologies and at a time when the rules of the game are sometimes violated and when we witness the spread of biased news. To address these issues, we gather a string and autumn sessions of the European Alliance of News Agencies, meetings of the Organization of Asia-Pacific News Agencies and Atbaku International Humanitarian Forum, which annually brings together acclaimed politicians, scholars and media leaders from almost all continents. Mr. Hassanov welcomed the participants of the news agencies World Council, meeting and heads of foreign news agencies who attend celebration of the 95th anniversary of Azertaj in the capital of Azerbaijan, which has an ancient history, rich culture and democratic traditions. As you know, the decision to hold the 5th News Agencies World Congress in Baku in 2016 was made at the 4th Congress in Riyadh, the capital of the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia, in November 2013. Based on this decision, Azertaj will hold the presidency of the Congress from 2016 to 2019. I thank the leadership of the Council and its member agencies for their confidence in Azerbaijan. He said, along with the 5th News Agencies World Congress, Baku will host the 16th General Assembly of the, of the Organization of Asia-Pacific News Agencies, OANA, in 2016. OANA is one of the most influential international media organizations and its founding was initiated by UNESCO. The decision to hold the OANA General Assembly in Azerbaijan was made in Moscow in September 2013. We consider this decision to be yet another evidence of the growing international prestige of Azerbaijan as well as integration of the country's national news agency Azertaj into the global information system. Today you will hold the second meeting of the news agency's World Council in Baku. Many of you have already visited Azerbaijan and some of you visited our country and our city for the first time. I believe that the visit will be a good opportunity for you to familiarize yourselves with Azerbaijan. Mr. Sanov said, considered a bridge between the east and west as well as various civilizations throughout history, Azerbaijan has always been remarkable for its tolerance and hospitality. Azerbaijan is a country where the first parliamentary democratic republic in the Muslim East was established 97 years ago. The first secular theater was created 142 years ago. The first opera in this was composed 107 years ago. The first newspaper was published 104 years ago and the first national news agency was founded 95 years ago. The Azerbaijan Democratic Republic collapsed as a result of the Soviet Empire's military aggression in 1920. Azerbaijan was forced to be a part of the Soviet Empire for 70 years. During these years, Azerbaijan had no access to global information system and was not able to promote its culture and historical realities abroad. These years saw the formation of Soviet ideology journalism in Azerbaijan. But after Azerbaijan regained its independence in 1991, our media integrated into the international information system started to benefit from the traditions of global journalism and free media emerged in the country. To ensure this, very important political and legal reforms were carried out. A legal framework was laid. Censorship was abolished in Azerbaijan in 1998. Another important legal document related to the media came into effect in 2008, titled A Concept of State Support for the Development of the Media in the Republic of Azerbaijan. This document was approved by Mr. President. It reflects the fundamental principles of the development of the freedom of thought, speech, and press. He said, by enumerating these measures, I want you to have a clear picture of the continuous work to build a free, democratic, secular information environment in Azerbaijan. The Azerbaijan government cannot imagine its internal life without free press. The media in Azerbaijan are completely free. They can raise and write about any issue. The country has a free access to the internet. Even 
the most remote regions of the country have access to both mobile and other types of internet connection. This paves the way for the expansion of social media in our country, said Mr. Hasanov. The mass media face very important tasks amid the ongoing globalization. In some cases, the media face problems, I would say even serious fatal problems. There is a tough competition. Of course, competition among media organizations is natural. Unfortunately, in some cases, we see the contrary. Other speakers included President of the News Agency's World Congress, President of the Saudi Press Agency, Abdullah bin Fat Al Hussein, President of the European Alliance of News Agencies, Chief Executive of Press Association, Clive Marshall, and President of the Organization of Asia Pacific News Agencies, Director General of Russian Test News Agency, Sergei Mikhailov.